Good morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime. Welcome back to Hemlock Farm on the first of summer year two. It is Coyote's birthday and we are going to have to hunt down some seeds. That is on the docket. So we got a busy day. Um, I'm actually gonna start with my scythe because as we exit here, we will see that we have, yes, an assortment of crops. Um, oh, we're gonna have to craft fertilizer. Okay, I wasn't sure. I think only if the crops carry over, the fertilizer stays. That's okay. So yeah, we're going to tidy this up. Thankfully, the golden scythe makes this um, a walk in the park. Let's rock and roll. I think we've forgotten to do mushrooms the past couple of episodes. We aren't going to spend... Oh, look at the summer grass. It looks so lovely. We're not going to spend a crazy amount of time doing our daily stuff because I want to make sure that we can investigate shops and kind of plan things out accordingly we have 768 plots to work with on this farm um, we can always grow some more stuff on our secondary farm it's so exciting and just you can hear the smile in my voice <laughs> um, but yeah I don't even know if we're gonna go into the greenhouse because I really want to make sure that we can check out Puck um, specifically and Shuck and Emma uh, sorry Puck, Shuck and Amon Ra those are the three and then obviously visit Coyote but yeah, I want to kind of do an analysis of what we can do with 160 grand. So first and foremost, have we gifted Puck twice this week? No, so we will gift Puff, Puck another. There you go, my friend. Nine out of ten. Let's talk. Um, cool. So he's talking about the elder tree um, and how it can grow in a variety of ways. In ancient times, humans would ask the spirit of the tree for permission before harvesting its blossoms or using it for wood. You humans do not ask for things anymore. You just take them. Very true. You know, the sad truth. Oh, Puck is so close. Okay, let's see what Puck has. So Puck has summer. Um, 37 harvest for 75. So if we were to grow, I'm just going to assume, let's say that we grow all of this. Um, 37 times 768 equals 28 grand. Okay. Cucumber starter. Plant in the spring, so no. Dried saddle. Um, oh, produce weekly from spring through the end of autumn. So that's actually interesting too. Foxglove is spring because we bought those last time. Green bell peppers. Um, plant in the spring, green leaf lettuce, plant in the spring, honeydew seeds, plant in the spring, matsutake, matsutake mushroom, um, plant in spring, okra seeds, plant in the summer, oh, these are expensive, wait, you buy them for more, but then they don't harvest for as much, but then they produce for every four days. So that would be on day seven. So what's 28 minus seven? Sorry, I could have done this beforehand, but I didn't have access to the shops. And I know there's a, a master sheet for that, but still it'd be cool for you y'all to see my reasoning. So that's 21 days left divided by four. So that's roughly five harvests. Um, and then, so whatever we take, just multiply it by five. So 243 times 768 equals 186,000. So too much. Um, and then they harvest for 187, so 187 times 768 times 5 equals around 700 grand from those. Okay, so we might look into buying some of these. We'll see. Rainbow carrot, um, spring. Rapini is also spring, I believe. Rose vine. Cool. Plant in the summer. Ooh, these sell for a lot. Um, but look at the... Um, hmm, how do I want to do this? I could buy some. Winter, oops. Spring. Summer. Four days after. They don't harvest for a lot though, but I wonder if it, it produces multiple. Spinach. Plant in the summer takes six days. Um, we could do spinach. I don't know how much of a return that would be though. Not as much as rhubarb, that's for sure. 48 times 768 is 36,800. Not too bad. And then if we have 75 times um, 768, that's around 57 grand. Okay. I think we want something a little bit more. Oh, turnip. Cool. Winter. Violet, spring, grape. White grape, sorry. The summer or the fall. 
Uh, produces every three days. Interesting. And it harvests us for 60. So I might buy some of these, but they grow for both. Woodruff. Um, and then we get into the tree saplings. Okay. Um, so the question is, do we buy some of this stuff right now? Like, which was the one I was looking for? Um, these. Produces. So what if we buy, what if we make these our eight iridium sprinklers? What would that be? Eight times 24 is 192 times 243 is 46,000. Okay. That would leave around a hundred thousand. Let's do it. Eight times, what is it? What did I say? Eight times 24 is 992. There we go. Okay, so those are those. So now we need 24 sprinklers worth from somewhere else. Um, I need to go and buy at least one melon seed <laughs> before I forget to. But it's not even 9 ham. But I want to make sure that we have that. Okay, so let's go and visit Shock, I believe. We can go and visit Coyote because we'll just take the... Whoops. Um, we'll take the minecart there. Excellent. Um, money from the mayor. Congra congratulations on completing my little challenge. I'm impressed. As an added bonus, I've included the blueprints for a new type of chest. Enjoy. Cool. I do want to craft one. I forgot all about that. I want to craft a stone chest so we can see what textures behold. It beholds. Okay. Quickly gonna pop up to the quarry so we can give this lovely gift to our pal right here. Look at that, all the way to eight hearts. A birthday gift? That's very kind of you. I love it. Nice. If you want to advance to the bottom line, you should prioritize upgrading your tools. I agree. Um, we are going to, oops, get stuck on something. And look at what you have to say. All yours, yours, skill coyotes, more, yeah, like forage based stuff. Um, and I feel like his shop is going to expand a lot now that we've just made those friendship. So I'm not going to worry too much about his. And I know Shuck's shop is also going to be quite... Um, like there's not going to be a crazy selection but we'll go take a look regardless he's just a you know just a small little jaunt away tucked away deep within the swamp let's see what's going on here I will give you one of these. Yeah, there you go. Fine offering. There may be hope for you, for you yet, human. And that brought him to two hearts, which is excellent. Um, let's see what you have to sell. Shuck. Oh, if I can access your store. There we go. Um, chive. Very cheap. Whoa, puff all my... Whoa. Those are so cheap. Purple bell pepper on the autumn. Tarragon. Uh, plant in the fall and then that's all okay so shuck not a whole lot but kind of anticipated so that's fine okay let's go and visit Amon Ra but we're gonna stop up here first because <laughs> I know Amon Ra has some stuff definitely not a lot so we may be going back to Puck slash we might just be um... oh all right Emily cutscene Ah, another beautiful day in Pelican Town. <laughs> My friends. Oh my goodness. Oh no, you poor thing. So cute how she holds it. Your wing's broken. Oh, Emily. Oh, you're a bit different than other others, aren't you? Just like me. Don't worry, I'll nurse you back to health, little one. Everything will be all right. Emily took the injured parrot into her home and bandaged the wing. He's all set up in her room, but as a token of respect, she didn't give the bird a name. Alright. Yeah, I don't think Pierre would have any fun crops. 
I know there's some at Sandy, like the Starfruit. Oh my gosh, we're getting all the... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know what provokes Seamus to just walk into a room and look behind a bookcase. You found Pierre's secret stash. Hey, who's in the bedroom? How did you find that? Quick, give that to me. Promise me you won't tell anyone about this. I, jeez, I feel like this might be one of these. Um, your secret is safe with, I don't know, because I'm like honor, the honorable thing to, uh, thanks, I appreciate that. Just forget you ever saw this, okay? And I'll just forget you were snooping around in my room. See, that's an issue. That's why I chose the top option is because why were we... Now I have to find a new hiding spot. Why were we in someone's private quarters? Like literally looking around where we shouldn't be. Like that's that's why I chose that option. Um, by one of you, just for the island. Three, yeah, so we could buy some of these. I mean, we don't need hops. We have so many hops going. Um... Yeah, no, we're just gonna buy that, I think. And we'll go. Oh, what the heck? Sorry, I just saw the coffee beans at the end. Bake of unground on roasted coffee beans. So we can. Hmm, okay. Um, but let's go do some almond raw stuff. It's 10 a.m., so we still got a decent amount of time. Meek Fearn in here. Actually, let's just take the. We're here. Okay, okay, you okay, Seamus? Like, were you just giving Fiernan a... Lots of loves there, right? Big, huge hug. You didn't want to leave poor Fiernan. Because we always do. Okay, we can actually get that dig spot. Because we didn't... Was that last episode or two episodes ago? I can't even remember now. Please be a... Okay, I mean, the beach tome is nice. Hello, Amun-Ra. You will get our last Iridium. Five... Nice, five hearts. Let's see, what are you, Zoconstool? I have no clue what that is. Rooibos, nice. Broccoli. Plant this in the summer, it takes 12 days to mature, and it sells for a lot. Ooh, I think we might have found our crop. Brussels sprouts, I love Brussels sprouts. Takes 10 days, where do you, when do you grow? Plant in the summer. It takes 10 days to mature, then produces every five days after. It may produce flowers in addition to vegetables. That's kind of nice, so we pay it off after how many harvests? 37 times. Or 112 divided by 37 is 3. So after 3 harvests and 10 days, so 28 minus 10 is 18 divided by 5. So that's only 3. We probably will get 4 harvests out of it after we factor in the additional. So I don't know how much in terms of profit that would be because broccoli is we could get 2 harvests out of this and we get like basically it's double right we get double the price in return on a basic quality broccoli so how many we have 12 no 20 24 sprinklers times 24 right 24 plus 8 is 32 yes yeah, so we have 24 times 24 it's 576 times 56 equals oh that's really cheap okay let's keep looking but broccoli i feel like is a good contender right now caraway um, plant in the fall, celery, plant them in the winter, fenugreek, fenugreek, my uh, goodness, I can't say fall, garbanzo bean, plant them in the fall, madrum, plant them in the winter, oregano, fall, thyme, winter, um, winter, yes, um, where are you, plant in the winter, and then, Okay, I think we are going to go with some broccoli, which I know is not. How much actually do these? I want to see. Twelve days to mature, so that's the same as broccoli. Shoot, and how much do they harvest for? I have no clue how much they harvest because that's just telling us how much the actual seed packet sells for. Let's do this. Let's do um, 12 sprinklers of these. Then we go maybe go do 12 sprinklers of the of melons. Because we have a chance to get big melons. 
Or we could do like blueberries or something. Most <laughs> I'm looking at most powerful profitable crop by seasons in Stardew. And I don't want uh, all of these kind of suck. Um, I just need like a, I know there's fun infographics somewhere. Um, mm, and yep. Okay. Oh, interesting. Oh, is this, I'm looking at spring. That's why. Sorry. It's like garlic, coffee, whatever. Okay. So star fruit and then blueberries. Yes. Yeah, so I'm, that's what I was thinking. Blueberries take a while to grow. But then blueberries, because they're regrowable, the fertilizer won't be as impactful on them, right? It would be more quantity. Oh, here, the seed price is 80, I mean regular, and the base value is around 250. I will just do a bunch of, oh shoot, we'll do a bunch of broccoli. I feel like that, because we... Mm, no. We'll do 12 times 24. 288. I need to make up my mind. Sorry, that's what I'm trying to battle myself with. Two hundred and eighty-eight. Okay, and then we need to go and buy two hundred and eighty-eight melon seeds. Which I know again blueberries are probably oops, blueberries are more profitable, but we have the perk where we can get up to iridium quality and iridium quality we'll take a look, but I think because the blueberries, the additional blueberries we'll harvest will all just be basic quality. I don't think that will be comparable over getting potentially more gold and iridium quality melons. Thirteen days to mature and then they reproduce, or twelve days, and the harvest price is 187. So that's definitely more of a return than the broccoli hay. Again, someone's going to judge me for this decision, but it already happened. Oh, we were left with 80 grand. Ooh, so you know what we might do is we might make some sprinklers and go and investigate on our other farm. And, oh, there's no other, like, regrowable corn, but I don't really want to. That's okay. I know those don't regrow, but that's fine. So we'll we'll do a little four iridium sprinkler thing on the alleys, on our alley farm. Okay, so I can check this off because we have done that. Oops. No, we need to go get a bunch of fertilizer. And fertilize the snot out of everywhere. 768. Well, that's going to use up a lot of our sap, thankfully. Oops, that's not where I wanted to go. What am I doing? This is where I wanted to go. Um. Okay. How much sap do we have? Enough to make 768. Okay. Mm, did I pass it? I'm blind because my mind was somewhere else. Oh, we can only make 550. Okay, well, we'll fertilize what we can. Oh my gosh, imagine running out of sap in Stardew Valley. If only I didn't throw out all of that. <laughs> cool. And you know what's nice about this too is that we still have some leftover money so we can reset a skill. And I think I might do mining because farming, we can wait until it's closer to when we're actually going to be harvesting this stuff. Can't believe we ran out of sap. That's so funny. So normally, you know, that's like half of one of your resource chests is just sap. Okay, so now let's switch over to you, the okra. Okra, please correct me. I will not be offended. Give me the phonetic spelling. Give me where in the world it is from and what it is used for as well. That's always really fascinating. 
and it's cool for people to read as well, I assume, in the comments. And I know I could just Google it, but it's cool hearing it from someone else, giving them the, that opportunity. Mm -hmm. We have to make those four sprinklers, but that's okay. I could also do... Um, I could just do quality sprinklers because I have a lot of those. So I might just do that actually because 24 is 3 and then we got 4. So that would be 12 quality sprinklers. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, so now I think I'm going to want to fertilize. We'll make. I'm going to fertilize the melons just because they give more money overall. Back and forth and back and forth. Away we go. Yeah, I like this. And again, this won't be, this will be probably for the rest of this year. Maybe into next year we'll have this sprinkler set up on our main farm, but then we're going to kind of cut back on how much land we're using for raw crops on the main farm and start to use it in other fun, decorative, and functional ways. Because we have other land, like lots of other land to play with. Even other land that we can build buildings on so we're not restricted to only building the buildings on this land. Okay, looking good. Okay, we'll get some of it fertilized over here. Better than nothing, hey? Sweet, and now we are going to do the broccoli over here. Just running back and forth. <laughs> I do like the sound of seeding things though. I know it's the same sound as like the gravel path or whatever, but it's different when you can kind of see the action that's being taken. Are we going to run out of seeds? Did I get enough seeds? Did I count this wrong? 3, 6, 9, 12. I don't think so. Why do I just feel like our seeds are dwindling quite fast? It's okay. We can always buy more of these. The Nature Spirits shops are open all the time. Yeah, I don't think we got enough seeds. Maybe we did. I don't know. Why do I feel like I'm just triple guessing myself? <laughs> Oh, imagine having a machine that does all the calculations for you and then um, guessing it to be wrong. Couldn't be me. It's totally me. Because that's the perfect amount. Oh my goodness. All right, melon time. So these both should be ready. Yeah, 10 days. Nice. Okay, so we can get two rotations and then we can put down something else after as well. That takes a bit shorter time. And there's, there's a number of crops there that take a shorter amount of time to grow. And I know if we use speed grow on them, we would get... Um, we could potentially get like a third rotation out of them, but I mean, we're not at the point to be mass buying that hyper speed grow yet, so... That'll be a next year project, that's for sure. Running, 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 back and forth. Oh, it's actually kind of nice I didn't send in my watering can because if we're going to be planting these extra seeds, we're going to have to prep the soil um, for that. Which means that we're going to have to water it. Sweet, look at that. Two crop fields done, just like that. Um, let's actually quickly make ourselves a little bit speedy yet again. And now we are going to... Why was I coming back over here? Oh, for the sprinklers and scarecrows, right. And I think there's an option like within Stardew Realty where you can... Um, you can turn off if you want. I'll bring a forward just in case. You can turn off if you want crows to spawn on the farm or not, but I have it on because I'm like, oh, it's not like there's a big, huge bubble living over that farm. And 
just again for the immersion because there's there's mods that just you know are like no crows on farms but i don't know i like having to have to think a little bit more about crop planning and then you know you have to deal with consequences if you're not careful so okay let's go check this farm out and see where we can set these up and i'm thinking probably like right here ish honestly um it seems like debris does spawn on here quite quick i know that we did just have a season change which is why some of this is here but um yeah let's just put it right by the entrance because that's really where we're going to be spending a decent amount of time so just tidy up some of this debris oops it would help if i was on the right all right um now we can do two rows of six i believe let's do that Oh shoot, I need to move it up one because I'm going to hit this. Let's do here. Let's try it here. I, what am I doing? Um, I didn't think this out. I don't want to do rows. I'm just trying to think about scarecrow wise because we can do four. I know what we can do actually. Let's do one, two. Kind of our setup. What the heck? those puddles puddles just appeared out of nowhere that was so scary it was raining um last episode though so that makes sense why there is one two three four and then we have four sprinklers sprinklers left so we will just do one two which i know that the crops growing are going to be a little bit not all grouped together nicely because of this but that's fine and now let's just till this land Does that animation of the soil breaking look different? It looks like it's like getting thrown faster, if that makes sense. Oops, I wanted to do you here. But I can still go boop. That looks like a shovel, was that just me? Um, we will clean up the trees over here after we plant everything. It's just 10.40 p.m. So I want to make sure that we can get this going how it needs to go. All right, Fiernet. Oh, fear No. Whoa, how is it doing it all the way over here? That's so weird. Okay, I'm magic. I was doing it where I was clicking. Nope, that's not what it... Nope, Seamus. Sweet. Whoa, Swift is so different on the watering can. Okay, we have the Swift enchant, so that's why. I actually kind of like that. Maybe I will enable the multiple enchantments. <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm like, I also want the bottomless. But the Swift on that is so nice. Oh, that feels so nice. Yikes, yikes, how is it already midnight? Whoa, time flies. Okay, now where are our seeds? So that's 16. That's 24. Uh, let's do peppers up here. And I can't fertilize these, which is a huge bummer. But it'd be like that. And then we will do tomatoes, which will be our ones that we sacrifice to being kind of wonky. And then blueberries. Yay, I'm happy we got all these down. Excellent. Okay, let's try and chop these out of the way. We're going to have to check on this next episode just to make sure that the spread isn't too crazy. Yeah, it's weird. It's like the animations are quicker here or something. I know we might pass out, but I'm just scared that the debris is going to influence our cropland. Okay, let's rock and roll. Let's go, Radagast. I might just leave you right by the entrance here. I am sorry, my friend, because I have something that can help us out. 
Just tidy up our inventories ever so slightly. I didn't put down the scarecrows. Oh no, 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 oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh. Oh my gosh, just in time. Wow, and that only takes one scarecrow, hey? It's like we've had that crop layout before or something. Ugh. <laughs> that was scary. I don't think I've fallen. Let's see if this translates okay. If we appear back on our farm. We do. Okay. Um, I'm not tabbed on the game. That's why it's being a little bit funny there. Okay. Well, that's fun. We... Um, I might just leave that there. But... We got some movement. We got some, some stuff done. We got our crops planted. So thanks for joining us on the first of summer, year two. Um, we are going to potentially go to the island in this next episode. We will see. I'm not too sure. Not too set on anything. Thinking we might go and plant um, four more quality sprinklers worth of things in um, in our alley farm. Just because but there might be a rapid axe crop. Actually, no. Because we have... Where did all of our money go? Okay, that is interesting. That is interesting. I am going to investigate into that. I mean, that's kind of a bummer, but I will look into it. Anyways, thanks for seeing a very bankrupt Seamus. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye for now.